Hello everyone, this is your sensei, Joe Lau, and this is the Fire Dojo. Alright, and welcome to our uh, next Fire Dojo video. And uh, this video um, follows a uh, posting of the uh, Firekeeper, which is kind of like my blog. And uh, I had asked for people to uh, guess which wood, um, and I showed a couple pictures on the, on the blog, what tree is this? And the correct answer, and I asked people to uh, to give me the full Latin name, and uh, they did. And it is the uh, the silk tree, the mimosa silk tree. And uh, I can't pronounce the Latin name, but <laughs> I'll have it right there for you on the video. But um, uh, a few people got that correct, and I sent them some hand drill kits, as I uh, said I would. And uh, those are being sent out. So, uh, uh, this is for the fire hacking section, as I like to call it. And fire hacking, um, really by my definition, has two, uh, two real important things. And it's about discovery. Discovery on two levels. There's discovery for the self, and discoveries for humanity. And... Uh, if you break it down to the basics, that's exactly what they what they are. Um, for example, um, countless people <laughs> have done yucca for uh, fire making, for friction fire, uh, hand drills, bow drills, things like that. Okay, so um, we have many accounts of this, but if you didn't do yucca, if you fire hack a yucca. That's a discovery for yourself. That's something that we already know, but something that you learn for yourself. You have grown as a person. Okay, that's an important discovery. Um, but the other kind of discovery is a discovery for humanity, where um, something really no one has done, and uh, therefore it has been added to the uh, scientific community or the, the world of knowledge for humanity where humanity uh, grows as a result of that, uh, that happening, that, um, that experience. And if, if you do it scientifically, it, sh it should be documented, recorded, um, and also um, reproducible if, um, so that everyone can, can see that it can be done. So one of the examples, um, for a discovery for humanity would be that uh, in my Hiden Denki Densho video series um, in the toggle drill section um, I do some of the hardest woods known in the world so Gabun Ebony, Lignum Vitae and the, the official Lignum Vitae not, not the other kinds of Lignum Vitae and uh, Bull Oak if you were to research on the internet, at least now, and uh, we, we suspect it's true, bull oak uh, is a wood from Australia, and it's said to be uh, under the Janka test, which is a wood hardness test. Um, it's said to be the hardest wood in the world, which is over 5,000 Janka units or something like that. So. And I have successfully gotten coals with uh, each one of those woods. So, uh, I, I don't think anyone else ever has, but, uh, so therefore, there's a discovery for humanity. It is possible to get coals with some of the hardest woods in the world. And uh, it's all on video, and it's definitely reproducible. 
So scientifically, that's there. So those are fire hacking examples. Uh, discovery for self, discovery for humanity. Okay. Today we're just doing uh, uh, some discovery for the self. This is uh, fire hacking for that. Um, on a quick and easy search on the World Wide Web, I found that other people have also used uh, mimosa, the silk tree, uh, for friction fire. So there's accounts of it. I see no reason for people to lie about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to reproduce that as a discovery for the self, as a fire hack. Okay. Um, and the one that we're going to do is that mimosa. Now I, I cut up, if you look on the photo that was on the blog, um, and I'll post it here right now. Branches, and you can see it's cut up in sections. But uh, as I was, as I had collected this branch, what was hanging off of this branch was another little branch. And uh, you can see this one's lighter, it's because I've already uh, stripped the bark off. But uh, this small stick, which was a branch growing off of a branch, is extremely straight and is the perfect size for either a hand drill or a mouth drill or, or a pump drill or something. Um, so what we're going to do, since you've seen a whole bunch of me doing hand drill already, I'm going to do a mouth drill. It's your basic mouth drill. Um, when I uh, am teaching friction fire keeping, um, I like to say that there's eight basics in the world. There's hand drill, mouth drill, bow drill, uh, pump drill, toggle drill, and then there's the three linears, which are fire plow, fire saw, fire thong. And if we would like to um, add another uh, honorarily, there's the fire drill of the gauchos, um, which you, if you research that, if you throw that on the internet, um, it's almost kind of mythological, but I, I'm going to tell you, it does work because I've done it and it's reproducible. So uh, I could say that there's nine um, basic methods from around the world. And here I just, uh, these basics, they're really a starting point here at, at Fire Dojo. So um, from here we launch and do all other kinds of, of crazy stuff and learning new stuff and taking stuff farther. So where most people will, as a goal, um, just try to collect and do um, these methods as the end goal, um, here this is just our starting point. That's just the, the basics. So one of these basics that I'm going to show you uh, is the uh, mouth drill. There's three kinds of mouth drill. There's the, uh, the bilateral um, force one where you use your hands, okay, which is basically a hand drill with pressure applied with your, your head and your neck and a little bit of your body weight pushing down on a mouthpiece. And there's the ones that are more well known of the mouth drill, which are like in the Inuit people or the northern uh, Eskimo type people. Um, they do a uh, mouth toggle drill, which is a cord that goes back and forth like this. Or they'll do a uh, mouth uh, bow drill, which works that way, which they would usually use for drilling, but it can be done for. Uh, for friction fire keeping. So uh, out of those three, we're going to do the most basic one, which is the one with uh, your hands. So let me prepare. Uh, let me prepare my stick for the mouth drill and one of these uh, sections of uh, branch for a base, and uh, we're going to do mimosa as a fire hack. All right, be right back. All right, 
So, I've uh, prepared our pieces. All right. Now, uh, when I explain these uh, these basics, the uh, I call them the primal eight basics: uh, hand drill, mouth drill, pump drill, bow drill, tall drill, and the three linears: uh, fire plow, fire saw, fire thong. Um, when I'm explaining only the drill methods, which is the five, as opposed to the three linears, you'll notice that the three linears, okay, fire plow, fire saw, fire thong, they're all two-piece methods. And um, how I explain the drill methods, the other five, is that uh, they go up in level of, uh, depending on how you look at it, ease, easiness or difficulty because there are more pieces added. So my saying is, uh, the more pieces, less effort. And then you do that backwards. So uh, less pieces, more effort. So I have them in a specific order of hand drill, mouth drill, bow drill, pump drill, and tall drill. And of course that could vary a little bit. But the point be, uh, obviously across the globe, friction fire did not evolve that way obviously and uh, so one of the things you'll notice is that the techniques that have more pieces uh, evolved in places where uh, it's a lot harder to get fire so for example the uh, mouth drill which is the toggle drill the mouth bow drill as well as the toggle drill those were um, used in cold wet northern areas right whereas the uh, hand drill was more universal and then there is the the pump drill which kind of pops up here and there but uh, in teaching these these basic ideas um, we move from the from the hardest up to the easiest so I go from hand drill up to tall drill in ease uh, as more as, as long as you add more pieces so the hand drill in my uh, uh, in my mind remains out of the entire eight the hardest one and the reason why I say that is because it's the one that will hurt you the most there is there I believe there is no other I think and I feel that there is no other method that will cause you more harm than a hand drill because <laughs> it will wreck your hands if your technique is is awful and if you do it more times than then you really should so one step up from the hand drill is the mouth drill so um, with the mouth drill you could use a harder density wood because with hand drill you need a very low density wood um, or, or a medium low density uh, but with a mouth drill, you could use a harder density. Also, you could use a slightly larger diameter, more surface area, okay, when you use a mouth drill, because you could apply more pressure, and you can get more torque, okay, more turning, uh, turning force with this method. So, uh, in this instance, we're going to do a what I call a reload. We put in a reload of the mimosa, the silk tree. And I have my mouthpiece here, which is a carved piece of lignum vitae, which is one of my favorite pieces. This is the official lignum vitae, not some other kind of lignum vitae. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to get this mated together. So I flattened out a branch on the bandsaw, okay? And I'm working with two cameras here, by the way. Uh, so I've created a bit of a divot here in this um, base and I've slightly rounded the bottom of my reload okay and uh, so what we're going to do first is we're going to just mate this together so I'm going to do this right here on the table so I'm going to clamp this down
Make sure that's in frame. Oh. I don't have my paper towel, but I'm going to use this um, paper cup just as a bite plate just to protect my teeth. Now you'll notice um, what I'm using today is a drumstick, right? This is a hickory drumstick. And my reload is held in place with a hose clamp. And this is for demonstration purposes, but you can make your own uh, mouth drill very quick and easy with something like this. And drumsticks are very cheap at the music store or even in other places. So our, um, our mouthpiece is uh, greased up a little bit with some uh, linseed oil, okay? And you can cut this head off the drumstick, but I left it on just to show that it is actually a drumstick, okay? So let's uh, just mate this together. Uh, the diameter of the reload, by the way, is just a hair under half an inch. Okay. Meanwhile, the the drumstick itself, God bless you, Thanks. is uh, five eighths of an inch. So our our torque, our turning force, is five eighths of an inch. But what we're trying to spin is just under half an inch down here. I would say that's made it together very well. Okay, so I'm gonna stop for a minute. I'm gonna just gonna put a notch in this board, and uh, we're gonna start again. Be right back. All right. So as you can see, I put a notch in our base. Okay, our mimosa base, mimosa spindle reload. Okay. Um, what I always like to do with my <clears throat> pressure mouthpiece is to always put a uh, paper towel. So uh, there's uh, one thing that you'll always notice when you do mouth drill is that uh, saliva will always go the direction of gravity, which is down. And your mouth is facing open and down. So you wanna catch all, <laughs> all the saliva on a paper towel. And then when you're done, you just throw this away. Okay. But really, the, the paper towel is also uh, keeps your skull from vibrating less. This is why the axis of the um, spindle should always be extremely straight. Um, I go over all of these things. There's uh, in the video, the heat and decking and show, there's, there's 22 um, what I call variables, which you need to know in order to do friction fire. If you can know and balance all 22 variables, you can get fire pretty much regularly all the time. All right, so to get started, um, make sure my camera's lined up here. Let's secure that down. So that doesn't move. And we're ready to start. So this is my, actually my first ever fire hack of mimosa, ever. Right here. So here we go. So this is a three step process, the mating, the warming up, and the ignition. So we've mated it, so now we're just gonna warm it up and ignite it um, after we create our uh, dust pile.
And there's our coal. <coughs> You're right, Jake. Yeah. We do have the windows open in here. But here is my first ever fire hack of a mimosa. And there it is. This is a fairly uh, dead branch, as you can see. It was, it has uh, bug holes in it. So, uh, and it's not, oh, there's two. Nice. So, uh, it was hanging out in that tree for a little bit, but it's, it has a lot of stability. I mean, it has density. It's not like it's falling apart or anything, so. All right, so there's our fire hack for the month, and uh, hope you liked it, hope you learned a lot. I just did, I just had a discovery for the self, and uh, let's keep going. <laughs>